Okay, so I guess I'm just cranking out videos today. I'm gonna do another review here. Uh, this is the Jackal Lures Bonnie 95. It is a top water bait and it's amazing. I caught a lot of fish on this um, a few days ago and I'm really impressed with it. And I'm also gonna review these uh, snap rings. I think these are the uh, Norman snaps. I think they're Norman. Anyway, we'll review those as well. Um, great bait. Uh, has a wonderful action, um, responds well to different retrieves. You can get a really wide zigzag or, or more tight zigzag, depending on how you work it. Um, uh, the hooks and the, the snap rings that come factory on it are junk for saltwater. Um, I found that out rather quickly and lost a fish uh, because of it. Uh, here's an example. Here's one of the hooks that came off. Oh, that, that was uh, this front hook here. You can see how easily it bent out. This is a freshwater lure. It's not marketed as a saltwater lure, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, uh, the back the back hook actually got ripped completely off. Um, I caught a probably a it was about a 20 maybe 25 pound jack. It was a pretty huge jack, and um, it actually straightened the uh, split ring completely out and pulled the hook off the back. And the front one was um, a big oval. The front split ring was in a big oval, and this was just barely hanging on uh, to that snap ring. So um, I went ahead uh, while I was on the water and replaced um, the split rings and hooks with the hooks, well, with the hardware off of a Catch 2000. And it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, I, did, I do think that the hooks are a little heavy. Um, the hooks and the split rings together are a little heavy for the lure. I think they weigh it down a little and um, affect the action just a little bit. Um, this lure, as uh, one of the differences between this lure and like a mirror lure or a top dog or she dog or uh, whatever, is that um, in the water, when you stop twitching it, it it's just, it sits like this. So um, all the weight from the ball bearings, it's got metal ball bearings, go to the rear here, and it just kind of sits in the water uh, like this so with the head out. So my finger's the water, and it'll sit sort of like this. And, um, the uh, there's the other top waters will sit um, basically flat on top of the water, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, doesn't seem to be bad to me. Call a lot of gator trout. If you didn't see my fishing report, um, I fished the Big Lagoon, um, and camped on Johnson Beach uh, there in Pensacola, Florida, or Perdido Key, and uh, had a really good time. Um, so let's talk about the snap. So this is the same snap, and I retied once because um, my fluorocarbon leader did get a little um, damaged. This is the same snap I used the entire trip, um, and it worked wonderfully. I was concerned that I might lose a lure. Um, I had heard, you know, reviews on them that from people who were like, "Oh, I put it on there and casted it like once, and my lure went flying. I lost a twelve-dollar lure." That's another thing. This is a fifteen-dollar lure. It's not cheap, and you don't want to lose it. So um, that's why I'm giving you this review and telling you um, about these things. You do want to replace the hooks, and um, you know, just just be careful with how you attach it. Um, so I was concerned with this thing. Uh, but it happened to work very well, and um, I caught two large jacks and um, four really large trout and several other smaller trout and uh, pinfish and such on the same on the same snap. Um, I was concerned because you can grab the snap right here and put the bait up here and twist it a little, and you can take the bait right off. You don't have to squeeze these um, to open them up. So I was really concerned about that, and I'm, this isn't an end-all review. You know, that could still happen to me, but um, I was pretty impressed with uh, how it worked with those big jacks. Um, if you do squeeze it, uh, you see it opens up like this, and that's how you put the lure on. You go over this through this uh, side of the hook, and then you hook it again on this side. But to remove it, you don't, if your hands are wet, I, I discovered it's really hard to kind of like try to pinch this, and you can use your pliers to do it. However, I found it easier to just grab it up here towards your knot Put the uh, hook attachment or the lure attachment uh, eye opening up here at the top and just twist it and go like that and it'll come right off. Like I said, don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but that's how it works. Um, anyway, very happy with this lure. Y'all should check it out. Um, I found it locally at Mark's Outdoors here in Birmingham, Alabama. I don't know where it might uh, stock it in uh, down further south in Mobile in Florida. But I'm sure you can find it. Um, if you can, it's available through tackle retailers online and Amazon and such. Um, anyway, thumbs up for this lure. Definitely replace the hooks and split rings if you do get it. Um, if you were unsure about these, 
Uh, they worked great for me, and I switched baits out very easily. Um, I was very happy with it, very pleased, and it also saves me from um, shortening my leader up so quickly, especially if you're having to tie loop knots. That uses up a lot of your leader uh, quickly. So anyway, thumbs up. I think you should go out and buy one.